Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some exciting leaks and updates on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. With its release just a couple of months away, it's the perfect time to see how it stacks up against Samsung's current top-tier model, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The S24 Ultra has been praised as the smartphone of the year, but now the big question is whether the S25 Ultra has enough new features to make people excited about upgrading. Let's look at the 10 big changes Samsung's bringing to the S25 Ultra and see how it compares. First, let's talk design. The S25 Ultra is getting a slight revamp, replacing those sharp right-angle corners with more rounded edges. It still keeps that classic note feel, but the overall look is softened. And Samsung isn't just tweaking the frame. Leaks suggest the camera lens rings will have a new textured ridge style, similar to the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Check out this render to get a clearer idea. Moving to the screen, the S25 Ultra is a bit larger thanks to ultra-thin bezels that are even bolder than on the S24 Ultra. This slim bezel design could make it the narrowest bezel on any mainstream phone. Plus, the frame itself is slightly thinner, making the S25 Ultra narrower overall, though the screen appears wider. According to Ice Universe, the display upgrades will bring even better brightness, viewing angles, and color accuracy all with the same M13 panel used in the S24 Ultra. Sure, Samsung didn't switch to the newer M14 panels that Apple and Google use, but if they can boost quality on the existing panel, it shouldn't be a big letdown. Handling the phone should feel better too, with its rounded edges, reduced weight, and slimmer profile. Samsung shaved off 14 grams and made it 0.4 millimeter thinner while keeping the same battery size and S Pen slot. Pretty impressive. Another upgrade is the RAM. The S25 Ultra will feature 16GB, a 4GB boost over the S24, with part of it dedicated to AI tasks, making for faster, more efficient performance. So it's more than just a flashy spec. You'll actually feel the difference. The S25 Ultra will also support satellite connectivity, which allows emergency communication even in areas without cellular coverage. It's certified, so we know it's coming. But whether it'll be limited to emergencies or support two-way messaging remains to be seen. Google, for instance, has a subscription for satellite service after two years free, so Samsung's approach will be interesting. Quick story. I recently visited Dubai, and it was amazing. But staying connected was tough. Roaming was pricey, and finding reliable Wi-Fi wasn't easy. That's when I discovered Aralo, the sponsor of this video. With Aralo's eSIM, I had affordable, instant data from the moment I landed. It was a lifesaver for navigating, booking tours, and staying connected. Aralo, by the way, is an eSIM solution from NordVPN's creators, letting you skip those roaming fees and SIM card hassles. Just download the free Aralo app, browse data plans, pick one that fits, and enter my code PLUS, scan this QR code on your screen to get started. Now on to the camera. The S25 Ultra's ultra-wide camera is getting a major boost to a 50 megapixel sensor from the S24 Ultra's 12 megapixels, while the rest of the camera setup is expected to stay the same. There's also an updated image signal processor, so you can expect better quality for photos and videos. Samsung's looking to make strides in video quality too. With this improvement, Samsung could compete head-to-head -head with the iPhone 16 Pro Max in video quality a big deal considering Apple's dominance in that space. Another exciting addition is Samsung's new AI model, Gemini Nano 2, which powers more complex tasks and delivers sharper results. It can process text, images, and audio all on the device, meaning no need for the cloud. With this model, the S25 Ultra could see improved talkback, screenshots, and voice recording features like the Pixel 9. The device will also launch with Samsung's biggest software update, One UI 7, designed to run even smoother on the S25 Ultra, thanks to the extra RAM and faster processor. Lastly, the new Snapdragon 8 Elite processor is an absolute powerhouse. It's the biggest year-over-year -year leap we've ever seen, with a 45% boost in CPU power, 40% in graphics, and 44% efficiency gains over the 8 Gen 3 chip in the S24 Ultra. This means it's not only built for AAA games, but also offers a 40% faster AI chip to enhance real-time editing features like video object erasing. It's now the fastest smartphone chip around, even beating Apple's latest. To wrap it up, the S25 Ultra does offer some impressive upgrades over the S24 Ultra, though some may be subtle. S24 Ultra owners don't necessarily need to rush to upgrade, it's still an outstanding phone, but if these changes speak to you, the S25 Ultra could be worth the excitement. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech updates. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.